So far we've seen that matrices are very useful for representing systems of linear equations and also useful for solving those systems of linear equations. Now we're actually going to develop a matrix algebra so that essentially all the operations that we have been doing can essentially be encoded in this algebra and also the algebra gives us a, a little more leeway uh, and a little more insight into the behavior of systems of linear equations and, and even beyond, even beyond. The first operation that we're going to learn about concerning matrices is just simple matrix addition and subtraction. That's what this section is about. So suppose you have you have two matrices A and uh, we'll usually set that, we'll say this AIJ is the IJth entry and I will be equal to 1 all the way up to M, so M many rows, and J is going to be equal to 1 up to N many columns, and also B is equal to BIJ, so the IJth entry, I is equal to 1, so this is just a little notation to say here's my matrix, and uh, what are, how am I going to denote its values? Well, we, uh, we write A plus B, and we set that equal to, well, let's look at the, the full matrices. So we've got A11, all the, up, all the way up to A1N, AM1, all the way up to AMN, and in, in here we have the AIJs. And if we add that to the matrix where I have B11 all the way up to B1N, BM1 all the way up to BMN. Well, we simply add all the entries. So it's just entry-wise addition. So A11 is going to be added to B11, and that'll be my new entry in the first row and first column. Uh, and uh, AIJ is going to be similarly added to BIJ for all the, all the IJs. So the, the resulting matrix that you get is going to be A11 plus B11 all the way up to A1N plus B1N, AM1 plus BM1 all the way up to AM1, AMN plus BMN. So that's a relatively straightforward operation. And uh, subtraction is very similar. So A minus B, right, and we can, we'll just have a minus instead, but well, it's just entry-wise subtraction. So we have A11, now minus, rather, B11. You get the general idea. AMN minus BMN, and the general entry looks like AIJ minus BIJ. Now I could I could define these operations only when I had exactly the same number of rows and columns. Otherwise, this operation is not well defined, right? What entry do I add? If I have one more row for B here, what what do I add that to over here? It it doesn't make sense. So in general, these these A and B matrices have to look the same. They have to have the same profile. They look like the same kind of rectangle. Now we can also define multiplication. So we'll say for a constant C, A is equal to, and this is just, we multiply this by all the entries of A. So we'd have C, A11, all the way up to C, a 1n, this all the way down to C A N M1, all the way up to C A M N. 
and the general entry is C A I J. So just a quick example to make things concrete. Suppose A is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2. B is equal to 4, 4, 2, 3. Then I'm going to have 2A minus 3B. Right, so this is a nice kind of simple, at this point it's just an algebraic expression. And over on this side, well, I have, I multiply 2 times this guy, so I'll get 2, 6, 4, 4 for all those entries, minus, and I have 3 times all the entries here, so I have 12, 12, 6, and uh, what is it, 9. And what is this equal to? Well, it's negative 10 here, negative 6 here, negative 2 here, and negative 5 here. The next thing we're going to learn to do is actually multiply matrices together. And that operation is a little different from what you would consider normal multiplication. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that later.